Hi everyone, it's Laura and I hope you're all doing well. So today I'm going to give you some tips on how to lose weight. So if you're interested, then keep watching. So my first tip is to take it day by day. And what I recommend is to get a journal and write down every day your plan for that day. And I think a lot of times the downside of going on diets or um, kickstarting a healthy lifestyle is that you plan too far ahead. No one knows what they're going to be doing three months, six months, in a year. You don't know where you're going to be. You don't know what's going to be going on. But what you can do is plan for what's going on today, what's going on tomorrow. Um, plan for today, maybe even the next couple days. Um, but focusing more on the present, focusing on what can you do today to be healthy, what changes can you do right now to be healthy, not waiting until Monday, not waiting until the weekend or tomorrow, but what can you do today to be healthy, to start your health journey and to be as healthy as possible. So along with taking it day by day, also being flexible. Um, I think a lot of times some people will become so rigid and so strict with themselves that it's not realistic long term. So if you can't see yourself doing this weight loss program or whatever it is you're doing, whatever route you choose to take, if you can't see yourself doing it for the rest of your life, then it's not going to work long term. So doing something that allows you some flexibility to where if you had plans tonight to cook dinner and it was going to be really healthy then and someone asked you to go to dinner then maybe inviting them over and you can cook for both of you or um, going to the restaurant and just making smart choices and pushing back your dinner plans to the next day because life is full of surprises and if you're not flexible if you don't go with the flow and you're too rigid then it's not going to last for forever, I promise. Being able to socialize and being flexible is part of learning what it's like to live a healthy lifestyle. Not saying that being flexible means, oh, someone brought cake to work. Okay, I'm going to be flexible. <laughs> but more of like, if things come up, if something happens and you can't, um, cook for that night, then still making healthy choices, but just not being so narrow-minded and so focused on a certain thing that you're not open to the surprises that come about. And not seeing those things as, as a bad thing, but seeing those things as a way to learn what works for you and what doesn't. So number three, which this one's easier said than done for a lot of people, but it's as soon as you've mastered the art of forgiving yourself and not being so hard on yourself, then you're that one step closer to living a healthy lifestyle. Um, if there's a something that isn't a part of your plan or wasn't something you planned on consuming and you ate it, don't feel guilty afterwards. What's done is done. There's nothing you can do about it but moving or making it um, an opportunity to learn and to move forward of, oh, that really wasn't that good. I kind of wish I hadn't eaten it, but I know better for next time. Or that was amazing. <laughs> that was the best dessert I've ever had. I loved it. I enjoyed every minute of it. I really cherished it. That was awesome. Um, so kind of part of um, making unhealthy choices is learning more so what you value and what you don't. If you're consuming something unhealthy and you're like, this isn't really that good, um, but you're just kind of eating it for whatever reason, then again, using that as an opportunity to learn and to build on for the next time. So try not to be so hard on yourself. We're all in this together where it's part of life, right? They say it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. So we're all on a journey, so um, trying to take it easy Go with the flow and forgive yourself. Next, try not to focus on numbers because that just is a huge weight on your shoulders that just isn't necessary. Any type of numbers, whether it's your weight, whether it's calories, whether it's grams of carb, grams of fat, grams of protein, throwing the numbers out the window and focusing on how you feel. 
And without stepping on the scale, you can tell when, wow, that sounded really Southern. You can tell. <laughs> without stepping on the scale, you can tell that you've lost weight by the way you close it, by the way you feel, by the way you look. So focusing more on how you feel, how your body reacts to certain foods, how your body reacts to certain exercises, um, how your mental health is, is your, are you, do you have energy, do you have clarity, what's going on with your body? Because we use the numbers as a gauge to our health. And when it comes to lab values and stuff like that, they definitely are a value, don't get me wrong. But when focusing more on calories and the weight on the scale, um, those to me don't carry the weight that your overall feeling carries. It means more to me that you feel good, that you have the energy, that you feel good about your body than it does about the actual number on the scale. Um, if you love yourself, if you're feeling awesome, if you're in good health, then that's all that matters. It doesn't matter that you're 25% body fat instead of 23% body fat, you know? I mean, there are people that are in certain professions that that's a thing and that's cool. But for the average person, trying to focus more on how you feel and less about numbers. Next, and this is super, super, super important to find a physical activity that you actually enjoy. To view physical activity as a blessing and, a, and as something that you're grateful that you're able to do and that you love instead of a form of punishment. Uh, please don't view physical activity as a form of punishment. And if that's how you view it, then you're not doing the correct physical activity for you. So I challenge you, go out there, find, take classes, go on hikes, go on bike rides, go swimming, go dancing, find physical activity that you genuinely enjoy doing, that you look forward to, that if you don't do it, you miss it and you crave it and you want to do it. Our bodies were meant to move and to be active. And when we're not, not only does it wear on our mental and physical health, it wears down on our energy, it wears down on our long-term longevity. So super important, find some physical activity, um, find some physical activities that you genuinely enjoy doing and actually do them. So I hope these tips helped y'all out. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, feel free to leave them below. Also, I'll leave a link below to my book. I'm available for counseling. I'll leave all the information below. I hope y'all are doing well. If you have any suggestions for future videos, anything you have questions about, please leave them below and I'll make a video. I love y'all and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye.